Tournament, which is June 8th, and that will be down in the, at the Martinez Bocce Ball Courts. Uh, be there at 8.30. Uh, pardon me? I know, but I want them there at 8.30. Don't be late. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then the alumni picnic is July 10th. So, anyway, you're all invited, and I hope to see you there. If you, and if you're interested in joining us, uh, just give us a call at the museum. So, you, the number is on our newsletter. Okay, um, I would also like to recognize my board of directors and ask them to stand. Does somebody want to make a toast? <laughs> so that to stand so that they can uh, so we can thank them for all their hard work and dedication in uh, keeping our organization running. So first, I would like to have uh, John Rippey, which is in the back. Paul Johnson. <laughs> Roger Enderbrusen. Alan Robbins. Bob Canny and John Yarangoni over there in the corner taking photos. Thank you very much. Without all your help, I couldn't do it. <laughs> and I was, I'd also like to thank our scholarship committee for their help and support. Um, we do a lot of work in getting the uh, scholarship applications out and getting together and trying to decide who Who's going to win? So it's not an easy job because everybody is so worthwhile to be a winner. Um, now I'd like to introduce Jeff Harris. He's from the refinery. He's in product um, product operations. <laughs> okay, and he's going to say a few words about the refinery. Well, hello. What a wonderful group. Wasn't expecting this many, and this is absolutely fabulous. A couple things I want to say today. First of all, Jeff Harris, I'm the production and maintenance manager at the facility. I've been here about two years, and Martina has been blessed to work with Shell for the last 27. And uh, Martina, as I was telling some folks earlier, is one of those destinations that all Shell people want to go to. And you've made it that way. So Tom Rizzo sends his regards. And, uh, he's had to be out of town for this particular event and uh, he, he values this event tremendously and he's, he was deeply regretful that he couldn't make it. Tom and I share a, a value for the importance of education and I think that's what this, this particular event stands for with us. I'm really honored to be here amongst a bunch, a bunch of folks that uh, represent such an incredible rich history, 104 years of Shell Martinez also represents the present and with our scholarship recipients and a very bright future. So thanks to the alumni really for uh, putting this on. I, I want to reflect on something that happened with me just a month ago. I got to go visit the Shell Museum for the first time. I regret it took me that long to get there. But I was struck by not just the incredible way that you all have documented what we've done at this place for the last 104 years. I learned so much about our past, the way we did things that I had no idea. And I'm a 30 year industry veteran. I had no idea we did those kind of things. It's fascinating for me to watch, but what hit me the hardest, what was awe inspiring to me, were the four volunteers that happened to be in there that day and showed us around and the pride that they had in what they'd done over those years of working here. 
they all told their story about where they worked, what they did, with a passion that it's really hard for anyone to fake or recreate. It was awe-inspiring for me. So as far as our alumni, you play an absolutely critical role to us, even today. First of all, we owe you a great, every one of us who works at the refinery now, great debt of gratitude. Every unit you built, every person you hired, every turnaround you suffered through, all of those things are the reason we're standing there today. And we can't say enough. I mean, I look at Louie and Anthony and Michael and Anne, we are all so greatly appreciate what you've done uh, to make Martinez what it is. Secondly, you're our ambassadors. You know, when I lived in Texas and Louisiana, I could go talk to my neighbors about the cat reformer, and they understood what I was talking about. In California, I really don't have that luxury. Uh, it's not something that, it, uh, refineries are a little bit of a black box to, to many of us in the Bay Area, except those of us who know. And you as ambassadors can actually break down some of those barriers that we have with the people who don't understand what goes on in these facilities. We really appreciate that. It's a critical role that you play. And finally, the last thing I want to I want to say thanks for is to well actually I want to congratulate the uh, award recipients. Uh, tremendous honor. Um, your hard work's paid off. Your uh, academic um, uh, your academic pursuits have, have started to pay off and you've got great plans. I've seen some of the profiles and know what you're going to do in the coming years and I'm really excited for you. It brings back memories of 30 years ago for me, but uh, I'm really excited for you. I'll leave you with just a couple of bits of advice. I have three, three boys, one in college and two in high school, <clears throat> and one of the things that I say is your grades, they get you so far and they may get you in the door. But what will help you achieve your dreams is what comes next. It's that, it's that showing up every day even when you don't want to. It's the hard work and perseverance. And then it's always being inquisitive and asking the question about why and what's next. And I think if you do all those things, you'll achieve every goal you want to achieve. Thank you all. Have a nice lunch. Thank you, Jeff. I'd also like to mention we have Anne Norangelo from Public Affairs, or yeah, the, 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 that was from my old days. I, I still call him Public Affairs. Sorry, <laughs> and Michael Gonzalez from SAA, and he will be just uh, handing out the uh, awards today. Uh, so, and thank you, Jeff, for coming up and saying a few words to our audience um, this year. The Museum Board of Directors decided to increase the amount of the scholarship award from $1,500 to $2,000 this year. So, we, we, we toyed around with the idea of increasing it to giving out five, or five scholarships, but we decided we'd just increase it to give you a, couple, a little bit more money. <laughs> I think that everything is getting so much more expensive that. A little five hundred dollars can help. Um, these scholarship winners are terrific students. They've participated in the, their schools in the last four years, been in leadership programs and clubs, and also volunteered in their communities. They're all very worthwhile kids to receive these applications or these uh, awards. So um, now I guess it's, get, it's time to get started to uh, hand out uh, the awards. So Michael Gonzalez will be um, handing them out. Yeah. Sure. You can always use help. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And... Uh, Glad to see everyone this morning, this afternoon. Uh, you know, as I look out and see all the alumni, I, I see more and more people that I've worked with. 
So you know, I've been around for 28 years, and uh, years ago when I'd come to these, uh, a lot of people would say, oh, you know, you still got a long, long way to go. Well, I can almost see the end now, but still a ways away. <laughs> still got about six years, six, seven years ago. But, uh, but I am seeing a lot more people I work with, which is, which is good. Uh, you guys made it to the, to the good side. So, uh, uh, and hopefully you're all enjoying it. Uh, so, you know, this, uh, this uh, you know, Bob Catelli is, is what this scholarship is named after. Bob Catelli, is, as far as the uh, Alumni Association, you know, he was tireless. He, he worked uh, uh, all the time for, for, for the group. And, uh, and you see that now, just as Jeff mentioned, all the work that happens at the uh, alumni museum, and all the all the great things you guys do, all the all the different events you guys put on uh, that are you know inspire us, the ones that are running the SAA now, uh, to do like uh, like events, you know, do events like that. I mean, I remember when I worked with uh, Ann on the SAA committee and the things we used to do. So so all those things kind of help trickle down and inspire us as well, still in the refinery. So we appreciate all the things you've done. Um, I wanted to mention the uh, Alumni Scholarship Committee uh, <clears throat> that we have. So um, on it is chaired by Mark Leeds, and I didn't see Mark here, so I, I'm, I don't think he's here this morning. Uh, also we have Todd Long, so John Marangoni, George Facer, who's also not here. Jim Purdy, I know he's here. There he is. Right. Mike Graydon, who also I didn't see, and Jeff Fisher, who's also a SAA uh, representative along with myself. Uh, so we get the uh, enviable task of going through the, the different scholarship uh, applicants. Uh, and this year, uh, we had a great crop again. Unfortunately, we only had we only had four, but all four were <laughs> incredible. You know, and so it, it maybe maybe people anticipated that and just were scared off from the beginning. I don't know, but it, there's we had a, we only had four this year. And, you know, we always want to have as many as possible, but uh, and and each time we have. You know, you, you think you you read it one year and you you see you know four point os and. They've done everything, you know, they've done all kinds of volunteering and everything, and you think, wow, you know, how can it get better than that? And then you look at, like this year's, and you see the same kind of thing. It's like all the volunteering, you know, some of these people, I, I'm not sure if they sleep. You know, it, it's, just, it's just amazing, you know, it, the things that they do, and uh, then the grades that they get, you know, there's some of them that uh, it, it just, it's all A's. I mean, it just, it, they're working hard in school, and then they're working hard outside of school. Uh, so it's a real, it's a real, uh, real honor to actually be able to to give them these scholarships because they've not only earned it, they they, they deserve it and earned it. Um, and also today, what we're also going to do is the uh, Shell Western States Federal Credit Union. Uh, they're giving out a scholarship. This is the second year of their scholarship, and we're going to honor those two students as well in, in this. So uh, I think that's good. You know, most of us, if not all of us, have an account at Shell Western States. Uh, I got mine when I was probably a year old or so, right, since my dad worked at uh, Shell. So I've, I've had it all my life. So, you know, it's always been a, a place I, I knew. So. Uh, so it's good that we'll be be able to do that as well. So we'll be honoring six students this morning uh, as well. Uh, so uh, to begin with, let's start with the Shell Western States uh, Federal Credit Union. So if the representatives from the credit union want to come up with me. One of the goals of the uh, Shell Western State Federal Credit Union is to give back to the community it serves. So, and it's established this 
uh, scholarship program to assist the students, uh, student members who plan to continue education in college or vocational school programs. Uh, the credit union also looks to plant the seed of financial literacy, literacy by requiring the applicants to create an essay on the importance of financial literacy and how their finances have affected them in the past and what, what it could mean for their future. So this is the second year they're awarding, it, awarding these uh, scholarships and this is uh, and they're giving two, two very deserving and promising recipients uh, the scholarship award. So uh, the first recipient, I'll ask uh, Maya Alabado. Is that, did I pronounce it close? Mia. 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 I was asking about the last name. <laughs> I messed up the first name. Mia. Okay. I got the last name right, wrong, right, and the first name wrong. Okay. So Mia, if you could step up. <laughs> And uh, so a little bit about Mia, she has a 4.02 uh, grade point average, is the uh, student body president, and is part of school leadership, and her uh, extracurricular activities include singing, dancing, and actually being a lead in a school play. She, um, she'll be going to UC Riverside and study nursing, and She's joined this morning by her mom, Mary Ann. Am I right? Okay, yes. And uh, so please uh, award Mia with this scholarship. Thank you so much. I want to see your cash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the second is um, Kenneth. Gelasio? Gelasio. Gelasio, okay. <laughs> Kenneth Gelasio. Okay, so that one I messed up the last name. So, <laughs> so he has a GPA of 3.977. He is a homecoming king. Is a, also on the student uh, body, is a student body representative. And, and uh, his extracurricular activities include playing for the varsity basketball team, and is a volunteer at the count for county supervisor David Canepa. He'll be also going to UC Riverside and studying computer science and business this fall. So congratulations, Kenneth. Okay, now for the uh, alumni scholarship. Uh, recipients. So the first one I, I want to uh, announce is not here with us. His name is Alex Bis I'm going to mess this one up. Biscanis, Biscani. Uh, he's from uh, Southern California. His grandfather is Richard Erickson and um, he's going to be going to Notre Dame in the in the fall in, with a business in business and his uh, only only B he ever saw on his report card was in his last name. So uh, 4.73 grade point average. So, uh, you know, 1550 SAT. So, you know, like, like I said, these, there may have been only four students that put in for the four awards, but all these were very deserving students. So it wasn't, it wasn't like they, uh, they somehow backed into a scholarship. These all earned it. Um, so he's going to be going to uh, Notre Dame, like I said, for business and uh, degree with a minor in biology and data sciences. So um, that's our first one, Kenneth, or Alex, I'm sorry, Alex. And uh, the second, um, be Hannah Kelly, and <clears throat> let me find it now. I already put myself out of order. And. Hannah Kelly, uh, she wasn't able to be with us this morning also, but her parents are here. And so uh, she goes to San Ramon Valley High. She's going to be going to La Trobe University. Who knows where La Trobe University is? OK, one person. Anybody else? It's in Australia, OK? So, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> so, so she's going to be going uh, quite a ways away. Uh, 
and she's going to be studying nursing there. And uh, from her, her write-up, sounds like it's a very big nursing school, a lot of students and very good programs down there. And so she's going uh, there to, to further her education in, in uh, nursing. And she also had a 3.97 grade point average. So again, these, these students had very, very high achievers. Um, two years of varsity basketball and track and field. So I'd like to ask her parents to come up and accept the award for her. Our next recipient is uh, Alexi Masare. Masare. Okay, so pronunciation is not my strength today. Okay, and she'll be going. To, uh, she goes currently to Carondelet uh, High School in uh, in Concord, and she'll be going to Baylor University in the fall. And she'll be studying criminal justice, and uh, and she's. She also, a lot of different activities, cheerleading, volunteering program for the homeless, uh, theater, drama, Habitat for Humanity, youth groups, uh, performing arts, dance. So, you know, and she sleeps a couple hours a night. You know, so, you know, <laughs> but you know, in her spare time, she probably never watches TV. So, but, uh, but that's, uh, you know, so in, in all that, she, you know, continue to get her grades up, keep her grades up. She, uh, she's a 3.3 uh, grade point average. Uh, you know, so again, all high achieving, very, very, uh, you look at the, the types of classes they take as well, it, all college prep courses, all honors courses, things that, you know, didn't even exist when I went to high school. But, you know, those things are, are you know, a lot more challenging. A lot of them even include uh, classes that you can earn college credit as you take them in high school. So, uh, so we uh, congratulate you and thank you. Thank you. And our fourth uh, recipient is Isis Tolson. Elias also went to, is going to Carondelet and will be uh, graduating uh, next month as well. She'll be going to the University of California at Santa Cruz, right? And uh, her ultimate goal is to be a, a lawyer. And so she's, she's studying to do that. And actually, a lot of the things that she participated in in high school uh, will help lead her to that with uh, being the president of the Black Student Union, home. Qu uh, Coming Queen uh, Character Award, uh, volunteer at the Catholic Youth Organization, the counselor, Venture Scouts. So all these types of things have, have been actually pointing her to, towards the direction she's going uh, and what she's trying to attain. So uh, we congratulate you and, and the work that you've done. And by the way, she had a 3.77 grade point average. So again, you know, a lot of high achieving uh, students here. And so, um, so once again, I'd like to like to thank all the all the recipients. I'd like to thank all the all the alumni for all the work you do, and and the the fact that you you've taken education and, and said you know it's important enough that we set aside some money to award and reward these students that come from our own family of shell workers and and we pass it forward basically so uh, and that's kind of the idea behind it and and I appreciate all, all the work you guys do and and thank you to all the to all the recipients as well thanks thanks Mike well we're just about ready to eat, so I make this quick. <laughs> um, 
I'd like to thank everybody for again being here and congratulate our scholarship winners. Education is very important to me. When I was in public affairs for many years, um, I was in charge of the education volunteer program. And I used to tell my volunteers at Project Read that their help in that, in that program was very, very important because no matter where you go or what you do, every child needs to know how to read. And I, and I said that their job is very important. So congratulations, all of you. And with that, I'd like to conclude this uh, luncheon or this awards presentation and enjoy your lunch. <laughs>